충남중학교 1학년 박서인 학생입니다. 기억해야 하고 알려줘야 하는 비극 제주 4.3 The Treasury That Waits To Be Discovered 라는 주제로 발표하겠습니다. 제주 아일랜드 is a beautiful island that was made by volcanic eruption about 2 million years ago. It's located on the southern part of South Korea. The island has many different tourist destinations, such as caves, beaches, and rock hills. It's one of the most beautiful places in South Korea. However, Jeju Island was not always this peaceful and beautiful. It was once filled with dead bodies and the sound of guns, bombs, and screams. The Jeju April 3rd incident. At the time, after liberation from Japan, the military governments of the United States and the Soviet Union were stationed in South and North South Korea, respectively, keeping the other part from spreading communism and democracy. Korea was politically unstable, and the conflict between left and right wingers grew deeper as time went by. In the situation, on the anniversary of the March 1st movement in 1947, six innocent residents were shot and killed due to a misunderstanding by the police. Resented islanders went on strike, asking for the punishment of the police force. However, things were not straightened up and the Jeju islanders found themselves treated worse than ever. In the uproar in April 3rd, 1948, with the slogan of resist against oppression, 350 armed protesters went uprise. The government immediately marched soldiers to the island to suppress them. However, this suppression went on for nearly seven years and seven months, during which one-tenth of the judges civilians were killed. Unfortunately, not all those people who had been killed had been involved in the protest. Most were innocent residents. The Jeju April 3rd incident is not very well known, even in history books, it is hardly mentioned. Those who have survived remain silent for nearly 70 years, hoping that someone would find out their story. Fortunately, in these days, as many citizens tried their best to reveal this tragedy, the survivors opened their mouths again. In an interview, an elderly survivor has said, with tears in her eyes, I still don't know the reason why my family was killed. There, I saw sorrow over hatred. This shows us how innocent civilians had lost their lives unjustly at the time. If I were a girl who lived in those days, where people were constantly killed with no reason, what would have I done? Would have I taken refuge in Mount Hala like everyone else and die of cold and hunger there? It would have been very hard to live with guns shooting everywhere and with no places to hide. The Jeju April 3rd incident is a very sad, heartbreaking tragedy that is still called an uprise without a proper name. Many still consider it as a riot. However, this was not just a simple riot, but an incident in which more than 30,000 people were killed by the name of authority. This moment of peace we're now enjoying is not to be taken for granted. We must admit our wrongdoing in the past, take tribute to the victim's death, and comfort the survivors and their families. We need to heal the huge emotional scars Jeju Island has. Only then we can pass on a bright and better future to our generations. We shall never let this terrible tragedy repeat ever again. Thank you. <laughs>